today we're going to discuss discoveries from a telescope that I actually didn't think we were going to hear much about, for I guess, um, political reasons. The German X-ray telescope known as Irosita. But a telescope that was launched as a joint mission with Russia. And since February of 2022, this mission has unfortunately been put on an indefinite pause. But turns out that despite of this, prior to this, for three years, it was able to collect enough data that has now been analyzed and released by the German team. And the results are absolutely mind-blowing. Just a few months of data collected between 2019 and 2020 resulted in nearly 900,000 different objects, with many of them never seen before. And that's just the first release out of potentially three more coming in the next few months. But more importantly, the researchers behind the recent study you can find in the description were able to create the largest and the most detailed X-ray map produced to date, showing the extreme power of this telescope and showing us what probably is yet to come. But even more interestingly, they were also able to see the incredible X-ray images of the mysterious cosmic web. The first ever X-ray images of this mysterious X-ray structure and probably some of the most detailed images we've ever seen. And so, hello info person, this is Anton. Let's discuss this mission and some of these recent discoveries and also talk about the cosmic web as well. But I guess let's briefly start with Erosita, which you can actually learn more about in one of the previous videos in the description. And so this beautiful telescope was supposed to be a collaboration between German and Russian scientists. Unfortunately, it didn't last long for obvious reasons, but three years of data is already quite impressive. And here it would actually function very similar to a lot of other similar telescopes, including telescopes like Gaia. But it would scan the night skies in the X-rays, basically creating a total scan every six months. And so in those three years, it was able to do this several times. And in just those six months, it was actually able to collect more data and discover more objects than the NASA's Chandra and XMM-Newton telescopes, both X-ray telescopes, were able to do in 25 years of operation. All thanks to these ridiculously powerful seven mirrors that made this the most impressive X-ray telescope ever. And so in those six months, it discovered approximately 700,000 different massive black holes, 12,000 clusters of galaxies, 180,000 different X-ray stars, and a variety of different exotic unexplained objects, with many very likely being binary stars, supernova remnants, different types of neutron stars, such as pulsars, but also potentially some unexplained objects we're going to be discovering about in some of the future studies. But one of these images revealed a location right here known as A3667 that actually contains something super intriguing. A 42 million light year long, barely visible bridge connecting two separate, easily visible galactic clusters. And it's now implied that this is most likely the first ever X-ray image of the mysterious cosmic web. An enormous structure very likely propagating the entire universe that also most likely serves as its foundation responsible for guiding and growing galaxies and distributing gas across the entire universe. Here's actually, I guess, another way of trying to imagine this in three dimensions. And we believe this is pretty much everywhere around us, including, of course, around the Milky Way galaxy. And so these unusual web filaments, or these tunnels, guide all of the matter in the universe, very likely enriching various galaxies and driving their evolution. And though we don't really easily see this web, the proof of its existence is all over the place. You can learn more about the evidence and the proof in some of the videos in the description. But in the last few years, there have been some visual evidence as well, or basically pictures. For example, back in 2021, we've discussed this, and this was in optical light. One of the most impressive images showing us what the web looks like if you were to dramatically magnify the light coming from the gas inside the web. And this was actually seen with the Hubble telescope, but in this case by magnifying separate slices from different locations and then combining them into one single image. And here this involved approximately 140 hours of observations. And so this was basically a long exposure, but it did show us the web. And even slightly before that, a different technique was able to reveal the web from a slightly different perspective. Here it actually relied on brightness of some of the most active galaxies. For example, a galaxy known as UM287, in some sense, is so extremely bright that it illuminates everything around it, including the gas. And so some of this light ends up reflecting from very long filaments that form the cosmic web. And so a few years back, 
Japanese researchers were able to produce this by basically using these reflections from very bright quasars, or sometimes very bright active galaxies, and then capturing the gas that was illuminated by this light. Once again, visually confirming the existence of the cosmic web, but also providing us with a new technique. Although some of the first techniques relied on something slightly different. They basically once again used quasars, but in this case, looked at the interaction between very distant quasars and saw the gas the light passed through. And so as the light was absorbed or somehow changed as it moved away from the quasar toward us, it once again revealed tiny disturbances which could only be explained if there was a cosmic web in the way. This mostly relies on so-called hydrogen absorption lines which form when the light passes through hydrogen. But because there are just not enough quasars out there, in order to see this web in more detail, we do need to have alternative techniques. Such as looking at, for example, X-rays. And in this case we know that various interactions in the gas, or even hypothetical dark matter interaction, should be producing X-rays of certain types, which though would be invisible to most telescopes, are definitely visible to telescopes like Eurozeta, powerful enough to be able to see even minute details from really far away. And that's exactly what was just discovered in these newly released images by the team from Erosita, with a new study released explaining the details. And so here we have something that's over 42 million light years in length and seems to connect huge galactic clusters through some kind of a bridge, but also containing an enormous amount of gas inside, with this gas very likely supplying both clusters and thus driving star formation. Intriguingly, here's how this image looked like in some of the other light from some of the previous studies and from some of the previous images approximately 20 years ago. With the overall conclusion being that this is definitely a separate structure with very high emissions and something that can only be explained if this was part of the cosmic web. But why exactly were we able to see it here and not other galactic clusters? That's of course a mystery that's currently unknown. In this case, researchers believe that there might be another cluster nearby responsible for the enrichment of this particular filament, but we're not going to know for sure for quite some time. It also seems to contain something like 200 trillion solar masses of gas inside of it, and so it's definitely enriched compared to what's expected. And so even for the mysterious cosmic web, this by itself seems to be extra mysterious. It seems to really stand out, contains a lot more mass than expected, and produces way more emissions, making it obviously visible in the X-rays. But at the moment, that's really all we know about this particular discovery, and we're not going to know more until those future studies. But intriguingly, Erosita scientists are about to publish 50 additional studies about other objects, and so we'll probably be talking more about this in the videos very, very soon. But I guess until future discoveries or more explanations, at least for now, that's all I wanted to mention. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who has learned about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership or by buying a wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.